In this video, we'll look at removing an additional T2125 when it's been added from a T4A. Uh, this usually shows up as a, an e-file error. Uh, let's have a look at that. Here I have a 2125 in a T1, and it's telling me in the auditor that I have errors. It is telling me to verify all copies, but I can see the warnings on the T2125 number one. And there's not a problem here. This code is correct. So what I should do is if I get errors like this, is scroll down. And if I scroll down, it gives me a bunch of warnings for the T2125 number two. Now this, I didn't enter. I didn't create this manually. And if I scroll down here, I see that there's professional income on this T2125 number two. And for T2125 number one, the income is on business income. So what's happened here is I entered something on a T4A and it's under professional income. So this cannot go on the same 2125 as the business income because they're reported on different sections of the T1. But I do want to report this all on the T2125 number one. I could just fill out the information on the T2125 number two, but in this case, I want only one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the information here. And if I do that, I see now I can enter it in different places here. So I'm going to put it in business income. That's the type of income on the 2125 number one. And if I go back now, I can see right away it's going to let me enter on the 2125 number one. So I've got the 10,000 here I'm entered manually, and then the amount from the T4A. And if I go to the, the T2125 number two, I can go to the form menu and just delete that form. And then I've got it all on the one T2125, if that's what I prefer to do.